this section we are going to cover union types, intersection types and when to use the keyword type versus interfaces. So let's start with a simple program, we have here a plain JavaScript object named player that is getting logged out to the screen. So if we run the program you can see that the object is printed to the screen as expected. Now we would like to make this variable more type safe because right now it has the implicit type any and we are going to see in a moment how can we prevent that the TypeScript compiler adds any implicitly to certain variables? Right now we want to add a couple of type definitions. Has name, which has two properties, first name and last name, and has address, which has a property of address. So this player object actually conforms to these two interfaces. So it has all the free properties on the two interfaces. So we would like to add here a type that is different than any that reflects that. In order to do so we can create here a type alias and we are going to call it player. So this type alias is an alias for a combination of other types. So in this case we are going to use has name and has address. So any object of the type player will implement the two interfaces. It will have the properties of both these types here. If we go to the player variable and we declare it as player, the program will still compile and run as expected. Now take a look, if we remove one of these variables here, we immediately get a type error saying that the variable is missing. So let's add it back for the moment. What we have defined here is what is known as an intersection type. Now we can also combine this with union types. We have seen use union types before when dealing with nullable variables. We can say that this variable here is either a combination of these two types or null. Now we can see here that the type keyword is being used to define both a type alias, which is the combination of these three types, and separate object types. This syntax here is actually equivalent to using the interface keyword, which in TypeScript is not only associated to object-oriented programming, so we can define interfaces that an object can comply to. It doesn't need to be an instance of a class in the object-oriented kind of way. So in TypeScript we can define interfaces that an object should implement, not necessarily a class. So instances that adhere to the interface will have the properties defined in the interface, but they don't need to be instances of a class in the object-oriented sense. As per the TypeScript documentation, this is actually the recommended way that we should use interface and type. So we should use interface to define properties that an object will adhere to, will have, and we should use type aliases to combine existing types together, either with other types or with null and undefined, which from the point of view of the TypeScript 2 type system are also types, so null and undefined are types. Now one thing that is worth mentioning at this point is that the type undefined you really probably never want to use it in your program directly. You probably want to define things like the player type which combine either primitive types or application defined types such as has address or has name and null. So this implicitly excludes the type undefined because null is not undefined, those are two different types. 